Hey everyone, this is Silver Channel once again, and today I will be showing you guys how to download Project M EX, a Super Smash Bros. Brawl mod. Um, it is a more latest, like one of the more latest mods when it comes to Smash Bros. Brawl, and it is actually really fun. Um, the uh, at least for now, the final update has just been released a while back, and um, other than patches and stuff, at least from what I've heard, the creator he's mostly done with the game. So this is probably the best time for you to download it and play it for yourself. Now this is a hackless tutorial, as you will probably say in the um in the name of the video. Um, if you want help with homebrew, I can't really help you with that because I don't have homebrew. I don't use it, so um, sorry about that. But this is for hackless. Now, before we even start anything, you have to make sure you have a two gigabyte SD card. If you're doing hackless, if you do homebrew, do like it doesn't matter. Just you need an SD, not a HC, because I've tried so many SD HC cards, they do not work only SDs so what you want to do um first you want to go right here to pr um it's uh, I'll leave this link in the description for um Brawl Vault is where you can download the game and um um yeah so here is the download link right here um so what you do you want to click on that and it'll bring you to Mediafire um a place to download um, stuff like this. Uh, I don't know what the wait. There was problems. You browse this for. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, so this is what um, this is what pops up when you do this. Um, now, what you want to download? You want to download um the normal. Well, first of all, it depends on what you want. If you want the um regular Project M stages, which is a lot more. Um, how would you say? Um, for like competitive and like if you want to keep the normal 3.6 project them stages you would do that but if you want the custom build which is what I used um then just click on this one of course so first of all you want to download this I already have it downloaded so I'm not gonna download it but it's easy just do the captcha and um you're good to go and then you also really need to download this true da das um, true dash dancing and plus minor and it's important please download so you want to go to that file and um depending on which one you choose regular project dump stages or the or um or his version then you click on that one i i got this one so i would click on that and i would download it just the way you would download this and then um um you would also go to extra prep patches now the this is in like a patch he did on later it adds Saki has a character and it fixes the freezing problems because if you're using hackles especially freezing will be a major problem and it's really annoying and um like before I downloaded this I had a lot of freezing issues that happen all the time now the game barely ever freezes so um this you would really need this but they have said before that it might not fit onto a 2 gigabyte SD card. Now I have used it on 2 gigabyte disk SD card and it works perfectly. So you want to download this just like you would with any other file that you're downloading. So after you've got all this done, just X out of it and go to files. Now downloads. You should have them in like in like first of all you need to have one more. Um I'll put a link in the description for winbar so um you have these all has winbar files now what you want to do you want to um extract the files i've already done that it's simple it will just extract it it'll take a little bit but then it'll turn them into plain files like these right here as well this at Saki plus that that i um, believe already comes as a file you may also have to do it for one more. I don't know. But, like, just extract all that you see. And, no, it comes as this, yeah. So, just extract, um, ex extract this and the two from above. And you will get this, this, and this. Now, what you want to do, first of all, um, you want to download the, um, custom build right here. Now, this is... Um, like, which one do you want to get here? Now, this is what you get off with. Now, wait, hold up one sec. 
Now, okay, I'm back. Now, this right here is what you want to copy over to your SD card. I do not have my SD card in there right now. I'll show you that once we're done. But before you drag it in there, first you want to um you um you want to go ahead and get open um you uh want to wait, hold up. Sorry. Okay, so you want to get to this cuz this adds extra to the game. And what you want to do here, you want to drag, um, you want to drag this Project M to this Project M custom build. Now, um, when you drag this one to that one, it will ask you, I'm not going to do it right now, because I already have it dragged on there, um, because I've already done this, but when you do that, it will ask you if you want to merge or, um, or replace the original this project M folder with this one, which is what you want to do, because this adds the extra stuff to the game, the updates and whatnot. Other like that's how just how it works. Otherwise, we'll get an older version of the game, which is not what you want. So, um, so yeah, you just move this project into that, and then it'll ask you to copy, blah blah blah. So there you go, and then you have that in here. It'll take a little bit, but this is the, you don't you won't need this anymore. You'll just have that now, and then. If you can add Saki and whatnot, freezing fixes, you go here, and then once you've already added the other project M to this project M, you want to click on this. You want to go to this. Oh, hold up, sorry. <laughs> okay, you want you want to put this in here. So, um, yeah, pretty easy. Just add this over here, and you should be good to go. So. Um, these readmes can be helpful, um, if, if I mistaked, or mistaked anything in this, um, these readmes should be able to help you. If you have any other problems, or I just forgot something, my bad, but now, see, I'm gonna put my SD card in there that already has this all on it, hold one second, okay, I'm gonna put my SD card inside here. Okay, so this is what the final project looks like. Um, see, you got all this, yeah. So, this is what you'll end up with. Now, all you have to do is you have to, um, you have to do the stage builder, boot up and whatnot. I'm about to show you how to do that if you don't know how to do that. So, I'll be switching to my Wii in a second, and... I'll see you guys. Hey guys, I am back real quick once again. Let me make this clear. Um, I forgot to mention this. Okay, so when I was showing off um, the Saki, um, the Saki file. See what you want to do. You want to when you open up this file when you first get it. Add Saki. There should be a project in there. There's not one for me because I've already dragged this project up into the main custom builds project M. That's what you want to do. You want to replace that project M. See, I don't have it here to show you or anything, but there's going to be a project M in here. You want to just drag it. I can't really do it because it's not there, but you want to drag it to the normal custom build of project M that you drag the other um, one to. And there you go. Um, once you've added, once you've merged this with the project mex that you already had merged then you will be good to go you'll have saki and no freezing so um just want to make that clear before anyone started attacking me in the comments asking how am i supposed to drag this blah 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 it's gonna be there's gonna be a project m file in there you just um replace the other project m file with that one and you'll have the full game so that is it um i will see you guys on my wii with the rest of the tutorial Bye. Okay, guys, I am back on my Wii. Okay, so um, make sure you have an American Wii and American Super Smash Bros. Brawl. If you're trying to do this on a Wii U, um, just make sure you don't put the SD card in until you get to the Wii channel. That is pretty much all you have to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the my SD card with all the stuff I had from my computer for the mod into the Wii um, right now. There we go. Once that happens, just get your Wii controller out and click on the Super Smash Bros. channel. 
and go ahead and press start. Um, from here it will boot up just like regular Super Smash Bros. Raw. Um, and from here there's a little trick you have to do. Um, if this will load. Okay, finally, Let's get this going. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go to Vault, then you want to click on Stage Builder, and before you do this, make sure that you have no custom stages on there. Delete them all before you do this. So once you delete them all, push back out of it, and then go back to Stage Builder. And the mod should start booting up like that. So don't freak out when this happens. You did not crash our system. You did not like get hacked or whatever. It's perfectly fine. This is just the mod booting up. So okay. So now you have the project dim, um, uh, what you call menu here to boot it up. So just press play so you can boot up the project dim mod. This will actually probably take a little bit of time. This would usually happen. I don't know if this will happen with normal Project M. I haven't really played normal Project M in a while since I for, um, originally got the mod. But yeah, just just give this some time. And but while we're here, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, Project M has been launched. Just skip through this, yeah, loading, skip the intro, okay, so there you go, you got Project Dem, the mod's going, and then here, it's not just Project Dem, of course, it's Project Dem, EX, you got all these characters, um, yeah, this mod comes with a ton of characters, some of them may be clones, but for the most part, there are a bunch of fun characters, and, um, yeah, this, this mod has some cool modes, I'm gonna let you find them out yourself. So, that is pretty much the end of this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more mod showcases or anything else you recommend me do, please leave down the, in the comments. I will leave down the mod link, as I probably said before, in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.